Hey folks, welcome to this scripted Git repository tutorial format. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the Git repository that contains the tutorial that you signed up for. First things first, let's take a look at the email that you're going to receive because it has some instructions in it. Okay, you're going to receive an email like this. The first thing to note is it has the repository link. This is an SSH based link. In order to get the repository from me, you have to send me your public SSH key. I'm going to walk you through the steps to send me your SSH key. If you've never created them, this is incredibly simple. All right, first things first, open up Fork. If you've done any of my other courses, you've already used Fork a few times. Um, if not, grab it from fork.dev and that's super easy to use. Okay, first thing is to go to the file menu and choose configure SSH keys. If you are on Mac, it's going to be under the fork menu, configure SSH keys. All right, they both have the same dialog box. You're gonna see something, not that, you're gonna see something that looks like this. Okay, configure SSH keys. And then in fork for Mac, you're going to see something that looks like this. Basically an identical interface, okay? Cool. All right, click this plus button to create an SSH key. Give it a name. It says, for example, fork SSH key. Provide your email, email at email.email. .email. Okay, once you have this, I need this public key. So click this copy to clipboard and then send me that message in Slack. Okay, now if you're not part of the Slack workspace, at the bottom of the email is a big blue button which will take you to the Slack workspace. All right, once you're in that Slack workspace, send me a message. I am Matt Cat Music. And that is right here, okay? So just copy this to a clipboard and say, hey, here is my SSH key. And then put it in a uh, text snippet. That, you can send it to me like this if you want. You can send it to me as, re as a regular code block, just type the, um, uh, just push this button right here, code block, and then just paste your message and send it. And then once I get it on my side, I will add it to the repository and you should be able to access the material. Let me do that now. Okay, so I've added it on my side, so I'm gonna send you back a message. Hey, you should be good to go. Try cloning now. All right, you're gonna get that message here. Awesome, all right. So go back to fork, I'm sorry, go back to the email, copy this email address here, and then do file clone, and paste the repository URL in the appropriate field. If it's copied to the clipboard, it should automatically populate. Make sure this says SSH. And finally, click test connection. You should get a connection succeeded message right here. If you do not, send me a message in Slack and we'll get it all figured out. All right, once you've done that, click that clone button. And now you've got access to the repository. In the next video, I'm going to walk through how to actually navigate this and work your way through the tutorial.